Hi there guys and welcome back to another episode of Insane Final Boss Progress. So this one is going to be about Kiln. Now after having finished Mole and done some pretty heavy grinding a few, about two weeks ago now, I took a little bit of a break from doing some uh, IFB progress, just went to Virago, made a bit of money from Raxor etc and just uh, enjoyed RS for a bit. However, I knew and I've been putting off for a number of months now the fact that I had to do 100 kilns and also obtain a kiln pet. Now, it was confirmed on Twitter not that long ago that kiln would be buffed shortly and this would increase the time taken to complete it as well as the difficulty. So I pretty much decided that despite the fact that it wasn't going to be that fun, that I would just go for it, smash it out before it gets updated. Otherwise, I'll spend even longer uh, having to try and get the pet. So quickly, just a few things about kilns. So you need 100 kilns for the final boss requirement. So therefore you also need 100 for the insane final boss requirement as well as the pet. The pet has a drop rate of one in 200 with a threshold of one in 40. So basically the way I did this was that I decided to try and do it just like I did with Mole. So start on a Friday afternoon and then go through right until Monday and see just a smash out weekend that wasn't gonna be very interesting and watch a lot of films and just AFK kiln. So I basically tried to do 20 kilns by the first day and then just do sort of 20 to 25 per day on the weekend. Uh, and I managed to, after a long time, pick up the pet on the 78th kiln, which was a long way into the weekend. It was on the Monday, in fact. And I was so relieved to get this. Like, honestly, of all the pets I've had, and I've done a lot of grinding, but to do that many kilns in such a short period of time, again, Pretty much like Mole, those two I would have said were the, my least enjoyable. So I don't want to go too much into my setup and what I did because I'm going to make a kiln guide, just sort of a rough one. Uh, so not uber try hard or anything, but just roughly what I found effective and the various different ways of doing it. But I basically did semi AFK, so using the setup you can see on screen, so with Void and the Titan, and then using Revolution and hitting my Titan sort of pots, keybound every now and then whilst having my summoning pots bound, just hitting those every now and then whilst watching a lot of films. So from doing 100 kills, then you will receive obviously 100 onyxes. It is uh, one uncut onyx per kill. So if we open up the price checker, we can see that they were a fairly chunk, significant chunk of money. Now it's about four mil an hour, I think roughly is what I calculated at. If you're doing about 22 or 23 minute kills. So it's actually, it's better than nothing and it does add up once you've done them. So aside from Kiln quickly then, I have been making a fair few number of gains. So I've been trying to get uh, Gold Wars 2 dungeon really underway. I hadn't really done much of that before. So now I've done some of that and you'll see a few drops pop up on the screen uh, of just what I've had. So hopefully a few pets will start coming. I'm building up my KC quite nicely. I also got 1.5 bill XP as you can see here and also got 150 mil defense. Um, and HP. Uh, I don't have the clip of me getting HP. I think it was an Avrago kill or something. So lots of XP gains there. So I would just like to mention the fact that boss pets are now usable as overrides on familiars and stuff, which was an awesome update about two or three weeks ago. Um, executed really well and I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely given me a little bit more motivation to go back and uh, finish IFB even faster just to get all those pets now that I can actually uh, have a use for them. That's it for this one guys, I realise it's just one pet for this one but it was quite a big task and I've made some good progress at Gobbles 2 so hopefully an episode will go up regarding that very soon. Thanks for watching.